dungeons and dragons. And junk drawer. Well, 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 look who came crawling back. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> There's nobody here yet. Dad? <laughs> no, cigarettes. Uh, no, you. Again? Forever. What's up, guys? We are back with another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. We have things to say before we get into... <laughs> I got something on my mind. <laughs> Before we get into shenanigans and uh, the burial of Thok, which is what I'm already going to call this episode. Episode uh, 40! <laughs> burial at sea. <laughs> Viking funeral. Up first. The Viking funeral. We have... Mike Spillane. What do you got for us, buddy? Oh, shit. I, was I picked this beer. randomly. Yeah, no. Yeah, I, that, no that was part of the reason. Everything. Yeah. Um, follow us on Instagram at the Junk Shore Show. Uh, make sure you're checking out all the awesome uh, uh, artists that we have coming by and doing some work for us. Obviously, we have Carlos. Uh, buy strawberry sweet. Right? Buy sugared strawberries. Sugared buy strawberry. period Damn it. sugar period strawberries. Buy sugared strawberries. Uh, Corinne, right? Corinne. 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 I was so close. I don't know. I'm trying. White I'm people. on the fly right now. Um, but uh, my last. Uh, that's really all I have. Last shout out is to Fire Ants. Uh, go fuck yourselves. You stepped in a pile. Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> no, you weren't going to follow that story up, Mike. Just Fire no, Ants. Fuck my, you. It, my, I mean, do we have a follow up to Donovan? Like, <laughs> no, no, no. We saved that for him. No, we know who Donovan is. Uh, no, one more shout out to Fred Durst for still being brave enough to wear a red hat. <laughs> Preach. Up next. We have Josh Delgado. Hey, what's up, everyone? So I like to 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 imagine that every time Pat picks someone, he just rolls a d4 and then still picks whatever the fuck he think. wants. Yeah. Like, you just roll the d4 for the, for the facade, and then you're like, nah, fuck it. I'm just going to do what I want. Um, so my shout-out is Glutenberg. It's a beer that I can drink with my special boy stomach. Glutenberg. That's it. That's the entire pitch. Uh, okay. Also, as always, fuck you, Donovan. Also, happy belated birthday. I don't think I said it last week. <laughs> but that's because, you know, oh, fuck you. Shit. <laughs> okay. Up next, we have Carlos. I'm glad that I rolled for that, that you rolled for that one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, uh, I'm going to continue shouting out artists just because, again, like I said before last week, I feel like right now, like the arts and music are a huge uplifting part of uh, a lot of people's lives in times like these. So uh, the artist I want to shout out this week is my friend Gabby uh, on Instagram. She goes by Gabsilla, um, G-A-B-S-I-L-L-A. Uh, she is a cartoonist, illustrator, um, storyboard artist. She made this amazing artwork for me um, a while back of me and my husband playing Pokemon. Um, and her work is super dope. So go check it out. I know you can't see it that well on camera, so you should check out her Instagram. Have we have we posted <clears> that? Uh, Just... I don't know if we posted that one yet. I know I sent you the link, but okay. I don't know if we posted it or not. That but is not been posted on our on our Instagram. Just so you know. Cool, because it is it's it's an amazing piece of art. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. So yeah, check her out. So I also want to say I love the. Uh, art you guys had done over at Random Encounters for all of the Mighty Nine is super tight. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. They're I think they're trying to make them into like buttons or stickers or whatnot. <laughs> and uh, which actually the artist for over there will be my shout out for next week. So stay tuned and come back next week and check us out if you want to know who that is. OMG, do it. Last but certainly not least, the beautiful boy across from me, Justin Belez. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I would like to do my usual shout outs of Roll20 being an awesome resource that we have been utilizing for since forever. I don't know. Uh, thank you for being less jankier than like a pro boards or anything like that. Um, I also wanted to shout out just a few more of our resources that we've used. Um, sorry, I see Mike. Uh, Mythic Portal Games, Printable Heroes, Kev's Lounge. I'm just teasing. 
David Hemingway and Gabriel Picard because we might be using things. Now, also, I would like to shout out, we already shouted out Jur Jester, correct? Your friend, Carlos, that made your cleric shirt? No. Yeah, we shouted out whenever I had the shirt the first time. I, I've been shouting them out every time. So go check them out. They got really cool stuff on Threadless. Get your D&D on. Also, shout outs to Off the Grid Designs. So if you go on Etsy, you can go on Off the Grid Designs. They have really handsome uh, leather work, which I'm really into uh, within the past uh, week. It's been about a week. They have like belts, um, different kind of holsters. Uh, in particular, they have a um, hot sauce holster that you can put onto your belt loop. So that way you can have delicious piping hot tapatio wherever you go. Movies, bam, tapatio. Christening, baptism, put some tapatio on that kid. Give him some <laughs> hair or blind them. Maybe you hate kids. I don't know you. Get the holster. Honestly, tapatio on popcorn sounds interesting. Also, uh, shout out to childhood friend band, Proud Miranda. Thanks for this shirt. It's really cool. Can we see the shirt? <clears throat> yeah. It says, Proud Miranda, I can't, don't hate me. Delightful. Say that. Can't My DMs be like, it's true. <laughs> Back to you, Pat. <laughs> All right. Uh, last and certainly, certainly not least, myself. Um, I had to roll for that one, so I just wanted to I was make gonna sure say, everyone know I made the check. He's just sitting here the um, day I let a hot sauce holster into my house. <laughs> uh, I would like to start out my shout outs by shouting out my wife like I always do and thanking her for letting me play Imagination with you guys every week for many hours on end. Um, my second shout out will be uh, register to vote. Just vote. Uh, I will not get on a political soapbox. Will not tell you what my specific views are or anything like that. That's not what we're here for. But do yourself the service. Let your voice be heard. Vote for the Rock. You can't bitch Wayne, if you don't vote. The Rock Johnson. Don't. I would vote for vote a rock, for rock Tom Hanks card as many times as I could. I would try to illegally vote for Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Tom Hanks. Allegedly. No, I would 100% do. It. Lock me up. Name? Lock on him a, up. Lock with him a, up. With a DJ Tom Hanks card? DJ and Tom Hanks. Who hates those two guys? Isn't there a whole like meme culture around Tom Hanks being a pedophile? What? No, it's it's him being a nice guy, not being a pedophile. Oh, okay. I'm, the opposite. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That's... It's like, well, people also think no, Bill I... Gates is a pedophile. And... That's true. They do think that. It's someone else. know how to talk to girls. No, I, th I thought Tom Hanks got uh, put on the Epstein flight logs at one point. I'm not sure. Oh, but no. it's all, you know, Here's it's all that. fake. I don't believe any of it. So. Anyway. Well, not any of it, but who knows? D&D! Birds aren't real. Mike, no. They're not. They're I don't not. believe it. Believe all victims. Mike. Well, God the thing is, I, was like, I don't believe it. And then I was like, wait, no, no. I don't believe not all of it. I don't Mike, believe you're... you. Mike, go take it's a lap. It's too late. It doesn't Dice matter. Daddy. Take a lap. Dice Daddy. Okay. Daddy. okay. Holy shit. Please. <clears throat> Holy shit. Last time we were all together, we had some developments. Uh, more recently, you guys uh, came on the outskirts of learning about Donner's true identity and him claiming his weapon, which he was very giddy about. <laughs> Essentially, you saw the extent of some of his demigod godly powers uh, in stopping the ever con oncoming storm onto the island, uh, to which he eventually put back on the storm. Spoke to some of the Thunderhoof clan, letting them know that he had returned and to spread the word. Um, on the ship, things were fairly quiet. Dremel ended up spending the night with the captain. In a sexy way. In, in P I'm talking P and V. Um... And Thok was hanging out in a bathtub before being beckoned onto the, the deck of the ship. He went on a little rowboat and he went out to the remains amongst all this, these dead fish, including a giant dead sperm whale, before going to this dilapidated, weathered ship where out of the shadows uh, and pierced through his chest was the body of Manu. 
while also having the spirit of Manu being very genuinely confused. So, we will take it from there. Thok, you are currently uh, being held up by your sternum. Your feet are slightly dangling from the ground. You are very tall. However, he is very strong. Uh, so it seems like he's perhaps making a point. Uh, you do hear uh, water splashing or something dripping onto the floor, which you can only kind of deduce that it is, in fact, your blood pouring out. And you're starting to feel cold as... Just get it started. Uh, you take nine points of bleeding as you slowly start to bleed out and... Your body becomes cold. Cool, 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 cool. Um, as this is happening, uh, as a reaction to try to get him off of me, uh, let's see if it works. Fuck it. I am going to close my eyes, hit my shirt, and cast daylight to attempt to blind him. Okay. And to also make a very bright light to see if the shit sees it. So you, how how far or how bright is daylight? It's bright light within 60 feet and then an additional dim light within 60 feet after that, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check it, out, but that sounds feet. right uh, in total. Yeah, 60 foot radius sphere of light spreads out from the point you choose. Uh, bright light and sheds dim light an additional 160 uh, feet. So, yeah, 120. Okay. So, I will say just for because I always like to retcon things because I always try to tease you guys at the end. Uh, we'll say Manu is still, or Hotep still has his human face on. So, he does have eyeballs. Uh, so, he is temporarily blinded. Now, however, when you see the light go out, you or go up, you see amongst the ship what happened to the crew. You see that the crew, all of them, are complete dry husks. Like all the life force in any form of moisture, it looks like they've been there for a while, but it doesn't look like it's from time. It looks like it's from something perhaps more sinister. Maybe something that is on your chest. As Hotep's eyes recoil back as uh, Hotep grunts. It's hard not to call him Manu, sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Uh, <sighs> cool, 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 cool. Uh, well, that stays up for an hour if I wanted to. Um, yep, uh, and as go. I'm gonna well, I have to attack first. Uh, I'm gonna try to like punch him off of me, like to try to like push myself off of him and out of me. Never okay. used those words before. Just do uh, me a favor. Uh, I need nine more points of bleeding. Cool, 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 cool. Because you blinded him so he doesn't get a turn now. So this is nine. This is nine. Cool, cool. Yeah, great. Awesome. Um, but I'm, I'm glad I'm at that. Uh, so, yeah. So, <clears throat> what, so I use a shove action? like. Yeah, you're going to have to do like, a strength check, <laughs> man. Okay. Uh, right. Gotta get him off me. That's not good. <laughs> That's a seven. Um, he got higher than seven. Oh, I bet he so did. You start uh, to struggle, and you actually feel your sternum start to crack as you feel his fingers curl in as he's cl clenching you on tighter. It's uh, not good. Uh, I'm going to, fuck it, let's try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm going to cast uh, Turn Undead. Okay. Uh, so he has to make, <clears throat> sorry, I haven't turned anything undead in a long time. Because there's no undead here. <laughs> He's true. not undead? No, I'm saying there's no undead oh, in oh, this world. Clean. Yeah. He scared me for a second. Oh, oh God, it doesn't really tell cool. me what he has to roll. Why is that telling me what he has That to just means he's it? turned, I guess. Sorry, GM. <laughs> uh, yes. You caught him. Yeah, the NDBM's not telling me what to roll. I know, it's a, I know it's a saving throw. You should Google it. Oh, I don't you Google <laughs> I'm, it. I'm freaking the hell out. That's why. All right, I got it. I got it. Got I'm it. about to die. 
Again. Why not ask him nicely to let go? You don't I, ask I, I highly Maybe. doubt. Have you tried tried saying, uh, it's... "Hey, bro, stop"? Constitution. All right. Oh, he's gonna make that a con save. Of yeah, what? he's not proficient in con saves. It's okay. Maybe he won't make it. He got a modded twenty. Oh yeah, he made that shit. Cool, cool, cool. cool. So you start to push him back, and he. Now you feel that your, you know how your sternum is built, where it's just one solid piece. I lied. It's actually wisdom, but it's fine. Oh, that's actually worse. Do you? Uh, you know what? I'll re-roll it because you're about to not have a sternum, bud. God, that's a one. I did it too hard. Uh, that's did what it you yeah, you did. A. Beautiful forehead shot. It's extreme close up. Whoa! He got. He made it. Just, <laughs> it was high. I didn't want to make you feel that. Modded 42. No, it's 28. <laughs> as you feel. Because your sternum is built as one solid piece that connects all your ribs together. And you feel it crack and start to pull as his hand starts to come out as your chest starts to flay open. We're going to do some more blood damage, okay? I'm just going to get some different D6s out because the one ain't cutting it. As you start bleeding out. Anyone on the ship notice the they like? <laughs> uh, you take uh, 11 points of bleed. Okay. As his hand is just uh, shiny and crimson as he looks at you. And you see his jaw slightly unhinge. Oh As my God, he is he starts eat you? to breathe in, kind of. Kirby, I need you to make a Constitution save. God. Okay, I'm not horrible at those. I am if I roll a natural. T okay, that's not a two. That's a nine. I mean, it's still not great. Uh, twelve. Okay, did not make the save. Mm. Okay. So you Love take you, you take seven points of necrotic damage. Okay. As as you notice, he's breathing in. You see whatever he's breathing in of like the ether or perhaps another realm. But you see, as you grow weaker, you see his ribs start to close in, and that wound <laughs> and the labored breathing starts to become more calm. <clears throat> As he's essentially sucking your soul. Great, 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 great. Yeah, but hey, you're not on him any. He's not on you anymore. It's hot, so. Did he let me go? Yeah, but you don't have a sternum, so Bro. you're gonna start getting woozy fast, baby boy. Well, I'm going to attempt to use my channel divinity again to preserve life on myself. Okay. Now, it's usually 50 hit points that I would get back. Do I get 50 hit points back, or is it like half of that? You do not. So, cool. did you use your channel of divinity already when you were on the island? I used it once. And you I have two? one more. Yeah. Two slides. Sorry, just making sure. So, no, yes, you would get 25 as your wound closes, but you are still bleeding on the inside. All right. I mean, I, I, I got to do something. Yes. Um, oh, and man. Yes, you're fine. I'll try to, like, move away from him towards the water. Okay. So you're on the in the bow of the ship, so you can go up. There is a stair uh, case leading up towards the deck of the ship where your boat is tied up to the side. Okay. I'll start moving in that direction, obviously, in pain. Yeah, as you kind of clutch, and we'll do ones again. So you take three points of internal bleeding. Eventually, you may choke, but we'll see how you get. So, <clears throat> Manu, fucking sorry, Hotep, 
looks at you very inquisitively and he goes, What's wrong, Garrosh? Don't. You're not looking to stay with us? No, I think I've overstepped my welcome. I'm. As I still move away. You start, you're still like shambling away. Your mouth is fully filling with this kind of coppery, warm sensation as you're you're kind of bleeding and you just hear the armor of Manu just click as he's slowly just following you as you're trying to scramble. Um eventually you get to the deck of the ship and you see that the wandering rose is I would say about if you're in the rowboat about 20 minutes out, but you do see that it is within viewing distance. You see it's soft lighting as you're on this dilapidated boat. You see uh, more as you're going up of those dead husks and those bodies as that darkness had fallen since his reveal. Got it. Um, I'm going to point at him and cast banishment. And he looks at you and he goes, and what's this? Okay, what's the save for it? It is a charisma saving throw. All right. What's the the check for it? The DC is 17. Okay. Okay, so he does make the check. So you do see his body very uh, briefly kind of vibrate and then it just sticks planted and he you see his back straighten up and you hear the sickening cracking of bone and vertebrae as he straightens up and it's at this point you get a better look of the armor of this very nasty uh it's this deep steel that on the tips kind of have these brushed pink almost um maybe rose quartz you could maybe deduce uh, lines with it. It looks like it's been dinged to hell and you see any kind of marking of Anubis has been either scratched out or moved out. And there are several different symbols on the armor and you do see around his chest is this massive looking, uh, it looks like he is holding on to an anchor chain that is completely around his, uh, his chest. Walk me sideways. Um, I mean, I'm freaking out. I, I'm still trying to make my way to the rowboat. If not, <laughs> I'm contemplating jumping overboard. <laughs> so you are still uh, <clears throat> scrambling and uh, freaking out as he slowly goes up to the chain that's on his chest and you see him unravel it. And he goes... And you see it's this long, it's about 15 feet long rope chain. And he looks at it and you see that it kind of goes up to his forearm as he wraps it. And he goes, you know, I should be angry that you let me die. But as I said, I should thank you. So please accept this as my gratitude. I will make this swift garrosh. As you see the large chain ignite in these pink and uh, dark flame. Cool. As he starts to wind up. I'm going to give you still a turn. But let me see here. I'm going to move us over very briefly. Okay, let's move that here. Here. And we will go about here. Okay. Yay! You should have uh, the ability to move your piece. So he's about here. I do not. I would say you're about like here. Okay. And a bow tee. I cannot move me. Oh, no. No. Okay. So while I fix that, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to get the hell away from him. Um, I'm still trying to signal the ship 
I'm, I'm st- I still have sunlight shining from me. Yes, you do. Um, you are emitting a very large glow. Um, just by the off chance, try not to meta too hard. Would anyone be wandering outside? We know Dremel's out. Donner, you were sleeping, correct? Mm-hmm. And Alder, if I remember correctly, you were also sleeping. I was in a trance, so depending on how long this has been going on, I might be up by now. But are you in the, the room, though? <clears throat> well, I was visiting Valdana. We never really kind of discussed if I went back to the room or not. That's right. So most likely you would be, uh, depending on what happens, which we would have to discuss very quickly now, would you have stayed with Valdana? Uh, only, if she, o- only if she had asked me to. I wouldn't be the kind of person to impose. Okay. So let's roll a probability real quick. This could either save Carlos or not save Carlos. Okay. So she just asks because she is very weirded out. Did we really? Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's back now. Okay. It just came back up, yeah. Cool. Then proceed. Okay. So, yes, you do see a very tiny little pinhole within the night sky. Okay. Um... Oh, I would also say you do see a pink, uh, a small pink light as well. Pretty. Then what I would do is I would probably, noticing that, uh, I don't see what it's coming from. I just see the light on the horizon, correct? Okay. And does the... Would you say that the pink light rings a bell to me? No. Okay. I just wasn't sure if that's kind of how he was described before. So that's more so me trying to double check because it's been a while. Oh, I got you. No, um, Manu's was normally like deep purple. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so in that case, um, I'm just going to look at that. Be alarmed. Not wake Val. And uh, try and sneak out to get to the main room. To investigate. Oh, to get to the main room below deck. Okay. No, no, to get to to where we were staying, Donna's room. Yeah, that's below deck. Okay. Okay. So you quietly are able to close the door as you're like, that's weird. And you just kind of briskly walk over to the, the other room as, Thok, we are back to you. As Manu is winding up, sorry, Hotep, fuck, <laughs> Hotep is winding up the, the whip chain. What are you going to do? You're muted. Oh, no. <laughs> Carlos, come back. Of course I am. Um, <laughs> He's going to let it happen. I, right. Ah, ah. Uh, thinking that this is going to be it, I'm going to close my eyes and reach out mm-hmm. to Pelor okay. and apologize for being a stupid idiot and a dick. And if he was ever there for me before, then to help me. And I'm going to try to use divine intervention. Okay. Pull it in, baby boy. You got this. Oh, percentage dice twice in one night. Twice in ten minutes. <laughs> Hold on. Hot like I, have, I have to check one thing because I'm multi-class. It's my cleric level, right? Not. It would be your cleric level, yes. How, how far is... So it? ten or less. How far is this boat from... Twenty-minute row. Ugh. But, I mean, if you turn the ship around... I don't even want to look at it. Motherfucker. 18. 18. Oh! That's so close. So, close your eyes, and you try to center yourself as more blood kind of fills your lungs. It's getting harder to breathe. And when you open your eyes, waiting for something to, to come and happen, you are just greeted with Hotep looking at you and before long appearing before you is Manu looking very distressed. And he's like, fuck, you're dying. We're dying. Um, shit. 
something for you. And he looks at you and he goes, okay, this is kind of fucking crazy, right? But can we throw him like off the ship? I can try. Look how heavy he is. I want my I'll, body back, dick. I'll, unless it's his turn, um, I'll get up because I'm assuming I'm like scrambling on the floor. Yeah. So I'll attempt to get up and get really mad okay. and go into a rage. Right, While well, you do that, um, gonna, I will have him attempt to hit you with the, the whip. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm not going to ask the question because I know the answer. So you do see that the whip comes around and you take, it's not too bad, 10 points of fire damage. Okay. Now I, let me look at my equipment because I think I'm still wearing my ring of fire resistance. <sighs> no, I'm not. Okay, cool. Never mind. As he flips it around, I mean, it's still in front of you. What Is this you before I rage? No, I'll say it's uh, after you rage. Oh, I mean, it's still fire damage, so it still hurts. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I am going to run to him mm -hmm. and put the shield in front of me and bash him to try to throw him overboard. All right, do a strength check for me. I have to read. Do it at uh, advantage. I was going to say, while raging, right? Okay, okay. Not horrible, but not great. 16. 16? Yeah. Okay, so you start to move him, and he moves back a little bit, but he is solid as a rock. That was at advantage? That was at advantage. Okay, just double checking. Um. Okay, I'm going to have him make his own strength check. I should actually just use these other dice, too, because it fits with the theme. Sorry. Just talking <laughs> myself. Yeah, that'll work. He, uh... Oh. Everyone disappeared. <clears throat> so... Okay, we lost you. Yeah. yeah. Try refreshing. I am. So, Hotep... Oh, my server connection has been interrupted. That's okay. So... Excuse me. Hotep grabs you by the neck and starts to lift you up as the supply of air is starting to leave your breath. I think you're muted again. No, I can hear him. Oh, I no, can hear I, him I, too. I disconnected for a second. Oh, no. <laughs> Internet is not good tonight. No. Streams. It, it knows that shit's happening. It's trying to save you. Um, <laughs> no, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the shield. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the sword with both hands and since he's like grabbing me, I'm gonna try to bring it down on him since he's literally at okay. point blank. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a reckless because I mean right? yeah. That was cocked. Okay, that's a natural 19. So. Okay. What is that what, plus just? Uh, uh, plus 8, so 27. Yeah, that'll hit. <clears throat> okay. What if I said it wouldn't hit? <laughs> oh, I feel no, like just, like, no. just take, fucking take me. kill me. Yeah, just fucking kill me. Oh, this um, kill me. Okay, so this is just. And not that I don't know if it will matter, but it's a great sort of wounding. So. That'll be nine slashing, and then I have divine strike, so that'll be nine plus six. So the so six six is radiant. I don't know if it makes a difference. Yeah. Um, and then once per turn, when you hit a creature with a magic weapon. 
You wound the target at the start of each of the creature's turns. It takes one. Okay, at the start of his turn, he takes 1d4. Necrotic, if it really matters. Um, but, yeah. yeah. You lash down, and he lets you go as you kind of drive the sword down on his head, and it actually cracks, and you see that half of the blade goes down his forehead as he looks back up at you. Um... I don't know. Uh, is it stuck in his forehead or like? It is I'm currently gonna... wedged in his forehead. I mean, I'm going to pull the blade off of his forehead to see if I can swing again. Okay. Do you have two attack or one attack? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I, I think it's one. I don't think I got a second attack as a barbarian yet. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be his, his turn then. All right. Um, he is going to, with the sword in his head, cast... Sword hit. <laughs> Sword hit. Uh, okay. Make a dex check for me as he widens his hands out and his fingers. Check or save. Uh, give me one second. Save. Sorry. Okay. Because I have advantage on dex saves that I see. You will see this as his hands start to glow this fluorescent pink and gets hotter. I don't think it's good. It's not going to matter because it's a 13. Okay. Bring the noise, bring in the funk. So you take uh, 10 points of fire damage. God, I rolled really shitty on that. Yes. You take 10 points of fire damage and anything that is flammable <clears throat> on your person ignites. I think it's just my clothes. Yeah, you're going to be naked. That's fine. I don't fucking care. Because I left everything else on the ship. Leave the world the way you entered it, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. Hello. Um, Back up. Is he still grabbing my neck? No, he let go. When you okay. stabbed him in the head. Okay. Uh, I grabbed the shield out of the ground. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Bonus... Oh, God, this is going to be stupid. I'm going to bonus action drop the rage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to drop a fifth level dawn on him. Okay. He, you, see, it's, you see a pillar of light appear um, yeah. on him. It's a 30-foot radius, 40-foot cylinder. Uh, bright light. Uh -huh. uh, he has to do a constitution saving throw. Okay. Let's get back to that. Will he take half? Yeah. He got a 12. That will fail. So he'll take 4d10 radiant. Do it, baby. Damage. Seven, ten, eighteen, twenty-two radiant. Okay. How bright is dawn? It says bright light glimmers there. Um, here I'll read it to you. Um, the light of dawn shines down on the location specified within range until the spell ends. A thirty-foot radius, forty-foot cylinder, or forty-foot high cylinder. Mm -hmm. um, of bright light glimmers there. The light is sunlight. Um, when the cylinder appears, each creature must make a constitution saving throw, radiant damage, take half as much in success. Okay. The creature must also make a saving throw whenever it ends its turn in the cylinder. Okay. Uh, so if, so if I'm within 60 feet of the cylinder, I can move it up to 60 feet. Okay. So it's essentially moonbeam, but for daylight. Got it. So... It's at this point, Alder, you kind of come out and you see this massive pillar of light in the distance just shine very brightly. And you're like, that's not normal. It's nighttime. <laughs> it's okay, daytime. I'm 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 sprinting now to go to the room. Okay. Full so, out sprint. Yes, full out sprint. So you start sprinting and you start fucking beelining it. Meanwhile... Donner, or Donner, sorry, Thok, you have yeah. completely 
encumbered Hotep in this massive light. And you see Manu, and he's next to you. And he goes, let's try it again, eh? Throw him off. Okay. And I'm going to try to shove him, like, as hard as I can overboard. And I will say that his save is going to be at disadvantage because he is currently blinded. Okay. Oh, it was caught. God damn it. Which was fine because that was the natural 20. Finally. Do you want to look at my what I rolled? Hold, please. Oh, God. Yes. So is that disadvantage? He rolled like poopy. So he got a 16 on his saving throw or his check. He got a 16? He got a 16 at disadvantage. Yeah. What was the low? What was the low? (laughs) He rolled a four. So you push him and uh, Hotep is falling and falls overboard. Sploosh. And you hear this as it starts to bubble and Manu's like, God, you're fucked, man. We got to get to the boat now. Okay, I'm trying uh, and I'm going to start making my way to the boat. Okay. Um, I'm going to say you take uh, an additional three points of just bleeding, internal bleeding. Okay. It's getting a little bit harder to breathe. So you get inside the boat and you start lumbering to get and to catch up with the ship, which is at a, like a slow pace. It's not very, you know, it's not going at a fast pace, but it's definitely something that you would have to really pick your your arms in. So, in the meantime, Alder, you are fucking beelining. You are pushing people out of the way, like the occasional groggy girl that's coming out to go to the bathroom. You're like, yeah. And you eventually get to the room, and you open it, and Alder, or not Alder, Donner, where are you sleeping? In the bed? Uh, no, I'm on the chair by the fireplace. He's on the chair, and you just kind of see him slumped. He has his book in his hand, and he's like, I'm fucking kill you. I'll kill you, Leonard Nimoy. It's- so you kind of just burst in, like um, fucking cream. I, I'm literally just gonna, uh, 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 and then I'm just gonna go grab Donna by the shoulder and be like, Donna, Donna. I wait. I yeah. I'm I'm awake. I didn't look sleep. outside. Look out. Yeah. Look outside right now. Outside is yeah. And do we have a ri- a window in this room? No. Okay. I would say it's most likely in the bathroom, if anything. Okay. So I'm gonna like walk over to the bathroom. <laughs> you just kind of shamble over and you just kind of look out and you see this massive just pillar of light that's coming from a, a point in the distance. Aldo, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Um, uh, is Thok here? I don't you know. also notice that the bathtub is empty where you know Thok sleeps. <laughs> I'll, I'll point over to the... No? Where are you? He was here, here when you went to bed, right? Yeah. Oh, I feel like we have to go. Trim. Oh, he's, he's not, not in here. He's not in the room. Great. Uh, okay, I'm going to grab uh, Yonbjorn in my leather. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to have to toss it over my shoulders and run out with uh, with Alder. Okay. Okay. As you guys do, you do see that this... So, Thok, are you moving the pillar of light over you? or uh, I, I'm going to have it following me so that it's... Um, okay. I, well, with me having daylight cast on me and then Dawn having... Being chasing me, um, I'm mm-hmm. trying to make sure that the ship sees where the hell I am. Okay. And I'm going to say it's safe to assume that they will. So as you're kind of huffing and puffing and moving, you see like Manu is trying to pick up one of the oars and it's just not going through. And he's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And he keeps looking over the, the sides of the boat as he is panicking about Hotep. So and do I make it to the boat yet? Like the or like yet, the edge at least? Not yet. Well, must okay. yet. Oh, no, you're in the boat. I, oh, you're already in the lifeboat. Oh, OK, got it. So you're already you're starting to zoom. Once, once I'm on there, I'm going to try to focus my energy on my sternum and yeah. cast Cure Wounds at second level. Okay. So you start to 
trying to mend the muscle that's in there. But you do see that you feel that your uh, ribs in the front are kind of loose when you move. And it's a very unpleasant piercing feeling. Okay. So as you start, Orin, baby. Uh, Donner, Alder, you come to the deck of the ship where you see this pillar of light slowly moving towards the ship. Okay. Um, We got to get over there. Um, Do you want to... I got it. uh, Alder, listen. Look at me. Connect. What I need you to do. Go get Valdonna because we might need a healer if if he's... All kinds of fucked up. Find Drem. Let him know what's going on. I got this. About how far out do you think they are currently, DM? Um, I'll say given the time that he's kind of pushing out. Mm, about football and a half length field. Okay. Words. So he's like 360 feet. Uh, 450 feet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to throw... Yambyun on my back. Okay. And I'm going to take a running start and I'm going to leap off the boat. And as I jump, I'm going to cast, uh, or before I jump, I'm going to cast a jump on myself. Okay. And I will fly 90 feet out. Okay. So, Alder, you see as you're like going back, you're like, wait, wait if Drems and you just see Donner run and he jumps off of the bow of the ship. And you see him Superman rocket up. And you're like, okay. All right. So the God stuff's real. Cool. Let's go. And um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm sprinting back to, to Val's room to go wake her up. Okay. So you go back to Valdana's room and she is currently sleeping. And uh, I'm just going to like rub, rub her shoulder again and be like, Val. Val. No. What? Val. No. Five more min- minutes. No. Tell my cousin no. to fuck off. I uh, uh, will later, but I think we need you right now. Yeah, so what? I'm not doing a show today. No, not a show. Look outside. Still the dead of night. And you see her, and she looks, and she's like... Oh, that's not adorable. Oh, wait, that's not normal. And you see her, and she slowly starts to get up. There and she's we go. disoriented, yeah. and you see her, like, knock something off of the dresser. And she's like, fuck, what time is it? I literally don't have a watch. I have no idea. Um, watch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my Timex on me. <laughs> this is a Casio, actually. It's also a calculator. Um, fuck. And she's, like, grabbing shit. She's like, what, is, what are we who are we fighting? We don't know where Thok's at. Donna just went out into the light to try and go and see if that's where he's at. Um, we need to get Dremel. I think he's with uh, your c- cousin. Oh, do you want me to handle that or do you want to handle it? It's going to be uncomfortable either way. Fucking. But, okay, yeah, fine. If, uh, if, if Doc's in trouble, we're going to need help getting him healed and we know that you're you're the best at that. Okay, um, well, uh, I'll get onto the uh, the deck of the ship. You know where the captain's quarters is. Just knock very politely, but urgency. So, very musical. Uh, maybe just lessen it up. Maybe a go, little go. more like go, yeah, yeah, go, go, yeah, go, go. And you see her, and she scoops up and picks out her uh, her great sword, and she straps it to her back before starting to run up. And you hear the door to vows. Uh, <clears throat> doors or the door to Val's room slam as we'll get back to Donner and Thok. So Thok, you're paddling and it's getting laborious. It's at this point you hear another kerplunk about 30 feet in front of you or behind you as you're rowing. And Manu's like, that's not, that's not good. That's not good. Are they maybe, are they throwing things? And he's like, I fucking wish I wasn't a ghost person. As you hear water slashing and the boat starts to rock very uneasily as there's weight being distributed at one of the ends as Donner, you poke your head out as you see a very fucked up looking fuck. Oh, this is way worse than I thought it was going to be. Hi, fuck. Uh, I, uh, I thought you were him. Um, 
You gotta get out of the water. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna get in the boat. Is yeah. it windy, DM? I would say it's relatively like windy. Moderately it's not like... windy. It could be windy. Okay. Um, just cause uh, if it's windy, I can use a bonus action to choose the direction that the wind blows. Mm -hmm. uh, probably not windy enough for that, right? No, I okay. wouldn't say it's strong enough for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna kind of put Thok in the front of the boat. I'm gonna kind of like lay him down, move him, because he probably isn't gonna put up much of a fight. And I'm going to uh, close my eyes mm -hmm. and um, I'm going to use a gust of wind at second level. So I'm, I, I assume I would just close my hands mm -hmm. or open my hands up and smack. Uh, and a strong line of wind, 60 feet long and 10 feet wide, blasts you in a direction you choose mm -hmm. for the spell's duration. Uh, and I choose towards the boat. Okay. <laughs> it lasts for a minute. Sorry. Good choice. So there's this massive crock as you put your, your hands together. And everyone on the boat hears it. So Alder, as you're getting closer and closer to the captain's room, you hear in the distance just like a crock And Val hears it as well, which we'll get to... Drummel, you're having a really nice, peaceful sleep. <laughs> you're Jeez. a little dehydrated. <laughs> you're naked. Your knees are a little sore and other things. And you're dangling like half off the bed, half on it. And you hear a ba-boom. As Creed on the other end kind of wakes up. Her hair is all like bushy. And uh, she looks very confused. She's like, oh, is some cannon fire? Yeah, you make me feel like wrong uh, cannon fire. Uh, what? And she looks up and she goes, what time is it? I thought we were. And then she opens the, the window and she sees this massive pillar of light that's just beelining it towards the ship. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. And she, she looks at you and she goes, game face. We have to. Yeah, game face. Yeah, do you have cannons she, you on the ship? You see her slowly putting on clothes. Yes, we're putting... Yes, I do have cannons on the ship, but if we're being chased by something, I need something that, you know, could outrun it. Yeah. And you see her, and she's frantically just kind of putting on clothes mm. as you're just kind of like, ah, it's cool, man. <laughs> I don't worry. You have cannons? <laughs> you're too uh, blessed to be stressed. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, hold on. I need to make sure that my computer doesn't restart right now because it's really trying okay. to. Okay. So give me one. Okay, it's not going to do it until Saturday. Fuck you. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long time from now. Take that, science. Yeah. <laughs> so right. um, uh, so, so yeah, so I, can, I can see outside now, right? Yeah, you can see this massive pillar of light that's just barreling towards the ship. <sighs> All right. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, quick meditation. Get ready. Do and she's looking at you and she's like, can, I'm can getting you ready. Like, can you like not? Sure. <laughs> turn, turn around. It's called boundaries, Creed. And she turns around. Thank you. Oh my god, we're gonna die on the ocean because Grimm <laughs> needs to meditate. And he's like just meditating naked in her room, like at this point, Alder, you get to the captain's door. <laughs> I swear to god, if it's one of your idiot fucking friends, I'm gonna kill him. I can guarantee it is. All right. And you see her and she actually picks up a sword. <laughs> she goes, Yes. Don't kill him. Uh, it's Alder. I think we have an emergency. Yes, there's a giant beam of light that's barreling towards the ship. I can't really do this right now, Alder. Good. You see it then. Thok's missing. We think he might be stuck in the light. I don't know. Donna just literally jumped off the thing because he's a fucking god. And I don't know what's going on, but we're going to need help. You Fuck. can't okay, get um, stuck in the light. You have to find uh, it, man. Not just give the him, time, Donna. Alder, give him like 10 minutes. He's just centering himself. I need to get the ship prepared for uh, whatever the fuck we're going to do. Just okay. make sure Thok Dremel. and Donna are on the ship. Dremel, meet me on deck. You got it. Quickly. Only if you say please. <laughs> Quickly, please. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, God. 
Mu Mo Kuei Bai Bai. It's at this point, uh, Dremel, like, as you're centering yourself, you open your eye, and through, like, the sheer curtain, you, Captain Creed is just moving furniture and tossing it to the side. Like, she's barreling it over. And eventually you see her grab this massive uh, rug that covers uh, a good portion of, like, her quarters as there is this massive just kind of trap door that's under it. And she goes, okay, um, need the signal. Can you, like, talk in my mind or something? Uh, kind of. And I cast a minor, a minor illusion into her, into her ear and be like, hey, what's up, baby girl? Ugh. Okay, I need to know when Donna and Thok are on the ship, so that way, as soon as they're on the ship, I can blow this thing out of the water. Blow, uh, bl- blow what thing out of the water? Us. I, what? We're gonna go faster than the light. Just go. focus, just focus. And you see her, and she's lifting this massive... Uh, board up and it's at this point you hear that humming that you heard uh when you were first on the ship has become this giant loud white noise as you see different uh light kind of shining and moving and cascading from within this uh <clears throat> trap door and she goes okay okay we just need a little a little of the dust so while she's doing that donner you and thok are barreling and Thok is just, he's getting paler and paler as Thok, you're, the bleeding is going to do a little bit more than it's been doing. Um, so you take 16 more points of just internal bleeding damage as it's going to be hard for you to breathe. Let me see here. Uh, Thok, what's your con modifier? Stand by. I want to say it's 16, but I want to make sure. Yeah, uh, modifier plus three. Okay, so you have about three or four minutes before you start choking. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn Donner, and which actually, if I took damage, stand by. The pillar of light might go away. Nope, it's still up. Um, and just be like, sternum shattered, might pass out soon. Oh no! Don't don't do that. Just stay awake. Don't no. We don't have to do that here. It's fine. We're gonna get to the boat. It's fine. And <laughs> Donner's just concerned. As <laughs> as you guys are speaking, Donner, it's at this point because you hadn't noticed it before because of the adrenaline, but you see all of these belly up fish that you guys are just careening through. And as you kind of like look back at the ship, you see the massive carcass of this whale that you had seen a few days earlier. Uh, you got to stay alive because I have a lot of questions. And I'm sure some other guys are going to have some questions too. You're a god. You can always visit me after death. Or you could just stay alive and we can talk now. You know, it's easier that way. Try and. Okay. So, Alder, you get to the, excuse me, the deck of the ship, and you see that Val is looking off at the bow with the pillar kind of coming towards you guys. And it's like the boat's kind of like speeding and careening. Uh, It's also at this point that you see, Alder, all the fish are belly up, including the whale carcass. That is very slowly just kind of like taking on water. (laughs) As it's like... Holy shit. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, can I, real quick? Yeah. Uh, once we're in, within, I, I would assume Donna could kind of like gauge it. Yeah. If I could take Thok under my arm and do jump, I'm going to jump from the boat okay. to the big boat. When you're about, what, 95? Uh, I would say like 70 because we have to go up to. Okay. So I'll say within that interaction that you've had with him you're about 70 feet because you're you're jack dude you're doing the gust you got everything i'm doing a thing i've got stuff so go ahead roll the strength check first to see if you can pick him up and but boof strength check got it got it got it still not the right stage okay. i'm heavy as fuck not uh, right now 
<laughs> yeah, you got like no blood in your body. So uh, <laughs> or armor or bones. It's a check, right? Yeah. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. So you get a fairly good grip on him. Uh, Thought, do you want to assist him with him grabbing you? I mean, I'll assist as much as I can. So go ahead and roll again and take the higher of the two. It is the exact same roll. Okay, great. So <clears throat> I'll say that you managed to make the check for it, but the landing is not very graceful as you I and I want to take the brunt of it if I can. What's that? I want to take the brunt of it if I can. Okay. So you and Thok start to careen towards the deck of the ship, and you see that the deck is coming fast, and you kind of turn your body and land on your back before Thok. Uh, you feel his forward hit your, your sternum as you both, with the momentum, kind of hit the other side of the ship as you see Thok's pillar of light stay on top of the ship. Uh, if once I get on top of the sh uh, the top of the deck, do I see Val? Yes, Val. You do see Val. Uh, I would immediately start waving over to her, assuming that I don't have any breath in yeah, my lungs. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gesturing over to her. To, and you for see her, her and she comes over with her over. her sword, and I'm just gasping, fuck, sternum, bleeding. It's bad. Uh, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> uh, Except, please okay. help. So we'll see if she has the chops to do so. I lost Tremel. Oh, there he I'm is. back. My my thing it like jumped back to the Bing loading screen again. Ew, Bing. Yeah, because I'm in Firefox since Chrome is shit in the bed with my camera. Bing. Okay. Bing it. So I'm gonna have her roll a medicine check. Okay. I would assist with that while I'm standing okay. there. Okay, you're going to assist. Yeah. So I'll roll oh, I can help with that as well. You're not... I don't think you're there yet. What's that? No, he's there. We, oh, is he? We were no. next to each other. I would have okay. run too. Okay. So she starts feeling Doc's chest. She sees there's this massive, like, blood wound and stain, and part of the shirt is ripped. But when she looks, she sees that the flesh is there, just heavily bruised. And Doc, you feel her when she presses your chest... You feel her <laughs> hit like your uh, the connecting piece of your kind of like lung and esophagus, and she's like, "Okay, there's nothing there. There's no sternum there." <laughs> I'm assuming and at this point I go unconscious. I would say at this point, yes, you start choking as you start seeing Thok not breathe. He's like, <laughs> and every time he coughs, you see a little bit of blood coming out. Um, uh, we have to do something. What? A, what's? Come on. I would say Dremel. It's about nine minutes now. All right. So I still got another minute, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. I guess I'm just sit here for just a minute. Just hanging out, brother. Okay. Let's see if she can make another medicine check. Um, actually, intelligence check would be smarter. And she goes, um, uh, 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 Donna, can you go into the kitchen? This could be really weird. And she puts her, like, hands over Thok's ears. Can you, like, go through the scraps and find me a sternum? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I can try. Yeah, in the kitchen. Yeah, no, and I'm, take off. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm going. Great. And she's going to go, okay, um, I need to get the blood out. <laughs> um... <laughs> Let me see if she has something in the arsenal. That I'm going to be like, gonna say, don't worry, it's about to get easier. And I, the pillar of light goes out, and my sunlight goes out. Okay. And I would also say, like, I, I actually um, kind of helped someone with something like this before. Um, so I might have some experience, because of when I help with Ashiki's eternal bleeding. Uh Please, if you have any way we can get the blood out of his lungs. Um, do you have a dagger by any chance? Um, of course, I don't have one on me. Um, let me see what I have. And you uh, see her and she pulls out this massive great sword and she's like, I got it. And she kind of goes over your chest there, Thok. And she goes, this is going to hurt, but I'm sure you've been through worse tonight. Is that a fair assumption? Don't answer. You can't talk. Oh. Oh my god, I double critted. 
I'm, again, I'm assuming I'm unconscious now. So. Yes. So you see, <laughs> and all of this pressure from the uh, the kind of trauma that was building up into your lungs, you hear Alder this air release and bubble as <gasps> you're able to breathe. As but there is a lot of blood that is spilling out of you. And she leaves the sword in. She's like, I'm gonna leave this in right now, but I'm gonna fix you. I think. Just don't talk a lot, okay? You'll be you'll be fine. Um, to say, Val, I think he's unconscious. Are you, oh, he's still unconscious. I, I don't know. I don't know how this works. He could be listening subconsciously. We're gonna clear um, our guard. Sure he is. <laughs> so, daughter, you get to the kitchen, and I need you to make an investigation check. <sighs> As you start looking through the fucking trash in the the like trash barrels and shit. Trash. Investigation. Can I intimidate something? Yeah, uh, the barrel. Stupid Give me trash both. can. Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you kind of start going through these like gross remain, like just the gizzards yeah. and stuff that no, no one wants. Perfect. And eventually, uh, you you do see like some rib bones and like pieces of sternum, but then you finally see like this attached to uh, what seems to be not bovine. What's uh. A pig. pig. You find a pig kind of carcass intact to a good extent. You see that the ribs have been snapped off and that it is a fairly clean piece. Uh, I'm going to grab it and just take off again in the direction of Thok and oh God. Uh, put pig bones in me. <laughs> Hope you're not Jewish. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna make alter, it roll a perception weird. check for me. Me? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, 26. 26. So while you're kind of, like, looking over Thok, you hear uh, in the distance kind of like a gurgling. As you see that the, the fin of the whale is completely just kind of slow merged. Would that be the only thing that I could see that's kind of, like, making anything weird? Or would there be... Would I be inclined to walk over to the edge of the boat to see if I see anything else? That's, I mean, that's really a you call if you would be curious enough to check over the other side of the boat. Uh, as long as he's close to the railing, I would say yeah. Okay. So you kind of look <clears throat> over the side of the boat and you see more of these belly-up fish. And very dimly in the distance of where the ship is, you see this very dim pink light underwater just pulse and go out and then pulse and then go out. Is it getting closer? No. So, Dram, <laughs> you kind of finish and you get up and pff, your head almost hits the ceiling. You're like, shit. Ow. <laughs> Gosh, fucking got, small people. Now I got to remeditate. <laughs> And you see that Creed is completely within that trap door. And when you look over, there's this massive engine that is made out of glass and gold and steels. And inside of this kind of warring uh, mechanism that seems to be some kind of engine. As you see her kind of tweaking and twisting things. And she occasionally touches it and recoils because it's hot. Huh. You should uh, be careful. Hot things burn. And she looks up at you. Get your fucking friend. Yeah, no, they're they're probably on the boat by now. And she goes, would you like to help me? Yeah, okay. And I'll jump down. Okay. So she, she has you assist with the, the different engine parts. And you see her with this very... It, it can't be more than just, like, the size of maybe my dice bag. of, And it... It's fairly heavy. It has some heft to it. And she opens it and you see this very like fine glittering kind of like sand, almost dusty uh, substance. As she very carefully goes over to the the engine and you see her unhook kind of like a, uh, a cup or a blocker. And she very gingerly kind of places like a dash of a pinch and you actually feel the heat off of the engine go boom, more shit what is it gets this hotter. stuff fuel 
Um, cool. <laughs> it's not really well known, and not a lot of pirates would get their hands on a self dust engine. Um, I just I have connections and father and. It's beside the point. Clearly. Well, let's get the fuck out of here, because that light's gone, and I don't know if that's good or bad. Do me a favor. Go upstairs. Make sure it's okay. Oh, my God. You just order me around. That's supposed to be my job. You're married. And so, Dram, you kind of get up, and you're like... "Uh." (laughs) Uh, So, Alder, you're still... Are you still eyeing the, uh, the glowing light? Uh, no, as I, I would focus on it for a moment just to see if it's moving nearer. And then if it's not, I would get back over to Thok because I know Val is going to need my assistance. Okay. So as that's going on, Donner, as you're kind of coming up, you see Drummle hands in his pockets, just kind of like, not even briskly, just nonchalantly. He's like, fucking pillar is gone. What's the rush? <laughs> we got a fucking super engine <laughs> talking about. As you're frantically like you're wetting, you're covered in water, you you're holding this uh, pig sternum too. As you just see, fucking Drem's too cool for fucking school. I'm not even gonna look at him. I'm just gonna fucking. I, I'm gonna just burn past him and go upstairs. So cool. you kind of do like the. Oh. <laughs> well, looks if like he can understand here. this urgency <laughs> in me running past him, then he's not gonna get it. Dremel Neutron Brain Blast, see if he gets that. <laughs> this is urgent. Um, An urgent matter. Eventually, Donner, you get to the, the top of the <clears throat> ship, and you see Val is currently over Thok, and her sword is inside Thok. But you do see that he is breathing. I mean, I could you have see done blood that. just pouring, and she's like, <clears throat> yep. he's losing a lot of blood, but there was a lot of pressure within his lungs. Did you find the sternum? So gross, so gross. Okay, I'm going to attempt to put this in him. Okay, what what can I do? Uh, is it clean? Clean enough. <laughs> Are any of us clean? It's no, clean. Maybe. And then Dremel coming up. Is any of us clean? What's the haps? And uh, Thok's dying, buddy. Let's go. So you oh. see her pull out the sword and <laughs> there's more blood that just kind of gushes out as... She goes, okay, I'm going to need this to be a little bit wider. And you see her, and she makes the incision a little bit li- wider as eventually Thok is flailed open hey, on the ship. real quick, and I pull out a dagger. This might be a little easier for you to handle for clean, small incisions. <laughs> Puts the long sword and just sticks it into the wood. Thanks. Anytime. And then and I turn around and I, and I go back to Captain Creed. Just to, I, I get within 30 feet so I can cast Minor Illusion so she knows that everyone's on the boat. Okay. So you give her the signal, everyone's on the boat, and you hear her call out. It takes a bit to warm up, but the light's gone, yeah? Uh, yeah, light's gone, and uh, Thok's dying. Well, shit. I don't need to do this anymore. No, you still gotta do it. Thok's dying. And I, and I go back, and I, I touch Thok and cast a Lay on Hands. Okay. So you are able to keep some of the bleeding down. Things start to clot as Val dips her hands into Thok's chest as Alter and Donner are holding open his chest. And she is going to cast Mending as she slowly starts connecting all the ribs to the center of this sternum. Oh, she did all right. Now you're the fat little pig boy. (laughs) (laughs) Oink, oink, piggy. (laughs) So it's taking some time, but slowly but surely she's connecting each rib to the sternum. Everyone roll perception checks again for me. 16. 27. Okay. I'm not 100% sure yet because my thing refreshed. So, okay, okay, perception... 13. So you all kind of hear this very large bubbling, almost like something's boiling in a pot. It sounds fairly different, or not different, distant, but large enough to make a noticeable sound. As you, all three of you kind of look towards where the bow or the boat was, as very loudly, 
you hear someone shouting Garrosh as you look into the distance and you see just this kind of <clears throat> very pink little light. And there's another Garrosh as you kind of like look over. And it seems that the pink light is slowly starting to raise up over the horizon and peak as you see this very large mass kind of start surfacing and breaking the the water. And uh, you hear something to the effect of, do you think you can run away from me, Garrosh? I don't kill that easily as the pink light jets up as this figure is completely engulfed in flames and you see it kind of amass this shape as you start to notice it's taking over the carcass of the whale as it's starting to get hotter and brighter. So we we all see it. Also, I think you're muted again, Thal. You're all, you, you all see I it. I know. This is this is me. I'm literally just like, oh shitting, and all oh, fucking life, and all like commentary that don't need to be on this video. Just like, <laughs> just throw me off, man. Just yeah. Get into thanks me. for keeping this scary god from us until last episode. You know, it's pretty great. I'm glad we could have planned for this. I'm unconscious and dying. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, how far how far away does this thing look from us right now? It's slowly like if you were what three hundred and. What was it? 350? 400, uh, 450. 450. 450. 450. So it's about 450. And it eventually starts moving and lurching. And 450 soon becomes 4. And 353. As <clears throat> it's starting to pick up speed. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Donna's going to pull Jan Bjorn off his back. Mm-hmm. And he's going to grab two hands. And you guys will see him walk to the front of the boat. And as he walks, uh, like clouds in the sky start getting darker. Um, and if this thing uh, gets within 100 feet, or when it gets within 100 feet, he's going to let go a lightning bolt. Okay. So as it's getting closer and barreling closer, I'll say that... Val has about three of Thok's ribs attached securely to the sternum as she's continuing to try to mend everything. And <clears throat> you slowly see this pink flame start to wick away. You can get a better look of this figure, and you see that the uh, head is completely charred black and is this uh, kind of decayed skull with this very large column of pink flame adorned in armor. And you slowly see that the skin and the husk of this whale starts to flick and burn and crisp off as it's getting hotter and hotter as uh, they're gaining speed. <clears throat> Donna would call over to Val and just say, get him downstairs. Fuck. Okay. Um, shit. My hands are inside it. Alder, can you help me with this? Uh, I'll do my best. Fuck, 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 fuck. And they, you guys start to scoot. So go ahead and roll a strength check, Alder, at advantage because Val is helping you. That is not going to help much. Uh, 16. 16. So you guys are starting to, to make a good pace. Uh, I would say that you're kind of halfway to the uh, to the bow of the ship. Or, I'm sorry, to where the, the lower deck is or where the stairs are. Uh, Drem, what you doing, bud? Uh, when they take him downstairs, I'm going to walk up next to Donner. And uh, how far out is the whale, the possessed demon whale? Uh, it's slowly going from 250 to 200 and then 200 to 150. So where is it when I step up? Uh, 150. 150? Okay. Then, uh, about 130 feet in front of me, I'm going to pull out a little bit of, I'm going to sweep the side, pick out a little bit of dust and a little bit of water from the the ocean, do a little hand motion and cast a sleep storm, 120, 140 feet out in the way which creates, I believe, 40-foot 40, 40 diameter radius. So 40-foot radius, so 80 feet mm-hmm. of um, just sleet, ice. Uh, if it's on normal terrain, it creates a slick ice that, that makes difficult terrain. Yes. Uh, I would imagine that with the ocean, it might make it a little harder for them to go through still. 
Possibly. But that's Maybe. my intent. Slushy. Yeah, a little slushy. So, and then they okay. have, they also so it lasts for a minute, and uh, it's a dex save dex save a sixteen. Uh, and they're prone if they fail it. I don't know how that works in the water. Okay, so I am gonna do the save for. I would assume I guess both of them. Yeah. Let me see here. So are you trying to hit roughly just the the shape on the whale, or you're trying to stay, stop the whale? Uh, I, I want to stop on, probably st stop the whale too. So wh wherever they're at, I want to start the 80-foot range right in front of them. Okay. So that, like, they'll so, have to go through 80 feet. Okay. So it's a dex save. Uh, what's the save? 16. Okay, he did make 16, which is good. And then let me check the, the whale. Because, you know, whales are dexterous. <laughs> uh, the whale does not make it. But it's also barreling forward. <laughs> so let me see here. So it does start to slow it down a little bit. Um, as you see, the ice start to, like, this very thin kind of sheet of ice as this hailstorm is coming down. And it's just breaking through it as you see that the ice starts to melt and this large steam cloud starts coming, almost like a fucked up locomotive is barreling towards the ship. Uh, once it's within 100 feet, Donna would let loose lightning bolt. Okay. So go ahead and roll for lightning bolt. Uh, it's a deck save as well. Okay. Uh, 15. Okay, it got a uh, he got a sixteen again. Okay, so he's gonna take half damage. Uh, eight, eleven, sixteen, twenty, five, nine, thirty-five, uh, and I'm gonna use. Font, uh, one of my sorcery points to re-roll mm -hmm. three dice. So 35, I'm going to re-roll a one, a four, and another four. Okay. Those are my lowest. So if I... Nope. Um, so, sorry. New new abilities. Not 100% sure how they work. Um, it's actually going to be... 34 still okay that's with the say with the success uh halved okay 34 halved. yeah so, so 17 thing. got it okay and you do see that this completely kind of goes through this body where at this point you do see that there is this uh skull that kind of reacts and lurches and if it had an expression of gritting its teeth and furrowing its brow, you would assume it would as the whale begins to pick up more speed before dipping down. And I'm just going to do this for prosperity. We're going to use the same map as before. Cool. And um, the, the, the prone check happens mm -hmm. every time that they start within that 80 foot diameter. Okay. I'll just double check, make sure he's still on. Okay. okay. Jesus. Keep getting the same roll. Uh, let me see here. I'm just going to make the bow a little bit more visible. If that's okay oh um also with that 17 uh, mm -hmm. it's also going to take plus three more um of lightning just because of my who me just because of me okay because i'm a special boy i'm a special boy why is this not revealing well 20 what the f dude okay freaking heck 
Like all this time I've been singing your praises and now I'm not. No, I was just dealing with some phony baloney, man. Okay. So you said he takes an additional three? Yeah, lightning. So that would be half to two? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Bop. Okay, so Alder, you eventually get Fock down to the uh, the stairway as Val is attempting to kind of keep everything open. At this point, the commotion has kind of woken up the rest of the girls, and she starts barking at them to keep the chest open. As you see, slow, soon her wrists are back inside of Fock as she looks up at you, Alder, and she goes, Go, I got this. You sure? Yeah, I got this as best I can. I'll get up as soon as I can. Okay, uh, then I, I'll just sprint back up to the deck uh, to try and help with whatever I can. Okay. Just gonna move that. Sorry, I'm just moving you guys onto the battle map. I didn't think we would be on the ship. Things happen. We saved him. Uh, uh, I'm a I'm a giant boy. Oh, my oh God. the biggest boy. Woo. Look at us go. Oh, <laughs> uh, now I'm going. Okay. So the whale is currently under the ship as the three of you are on the bow of the ship. Wait, can you guys see it? See the characters? I can see me. And now yes. I'm Yeah, I'm oh, not there. That's and the cock. Fuck that. Who's probably dying. Yeah, I only see Thalk and the skull. Oh, no, scroll up. up. Oh, oh, okay. It's a big boat. Yeah, all right. It's a big boat, boy. And okay. I will switch to battle cam. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Battle cam. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So is um is not not Manu Hotep is Hotep and the whale coming from the north? From where they we're... came from the yep and they dipped down from where you were uh shoot nice at it can i go oh uh, should we roll um initiative um yeah go ahead and roll initiative okay. i'm assuming it's at me I... you're not here <laughs> your chest is wide open so not sure, you... not sure how much help uh Filleted currently. Open and accepting. Always. Okay, let me just get my book out. Didn't think you guys were going to fight something so soon since the last fight, huh? Ha, 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 20 ha, ha. higher? Uh, modded 20. And let's see. Okay. Uh, 15 higher. Uh, 19. 19. Okay. 10 or higher. This man. You got you got eight. Well, it's just you. Throw. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I got eight. Sorry, our man. Man's all rat. Shoot, man. I all right, Donner, air high five. It worked. It totally worked. <laughs> Counts. We rolled well for initiative for once. Okay. Sure. Everything Alder. else is going to die, but... Alder, it is your turn. <clears throat> can can I see anything of where they went since I just got up here? Um, You saw that they went down, but you would have to move and look over the other side of the ship to see if you can locate them. Gotcha. Uh, uh, Donner made it stormy out, right? Uh, Kind of, yeah. And I made it stormy out. Kind of, yeah, it works for me. Um, then I'll go ahead and walk over towards the edge to see if I can... Uh, uh, I can't move myself. Um, to see if I can uh, see where they're at. Um, and if I can gauge how far they are from us, I'm going to cast Call Lightning okay. uh, down on their location. Okay. So go ahead. Um, you kind of like look over and you do see the glowing pink uh, start to come more north towards the ship, and it looks like it's starting to try to go under the ship. As oh, shit. Right, get down. Before they get under the ship, right? Yeah, I would assume you would attempt to. 
Cool. Um, then, yeah, it's going to be um, uh, a deck save. Okay. I'm just going to roll it for the Wahale. Yeah, the Wahale. What the fuck is the Wahale? Okay, what's the save? 17. 17, okay. And then what's the uh, the damage? Well, since it's storming out, it will actually be 4d10. Okay. Uh, so... That is uh, <clears throat> 17 points of damage, or no, uh, 18 points of damage. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Alder, do you want to move where on the map where you went? Oh, sorry, I didn't. Uh, I was not able to. Didn't know that. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Because <clears throat> okay, I want to be able to move myself is next to you, so we can be mates. Okay. Alder, you should have access. I would also like access. No. But I want it. Oh, okay, that's fine. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um. And Dremel. Uh, I don't know if you have to click save or something, but I, I can't still. Okay. Give Same. Me a second. I haven't finished yours yet, Dremel. Oh, okay. I can. Look you at can me. Move yours, uh, Patrick? Huh? Yeah, I'm okay. good. Take it away. No. Okay, go ahead and try. End, and uh, end it. Friends. <laughs> All right, you should be good. Uh, uh, yeah, I just got the thing. Uh, okay. So I will just go up to like right here so okay. I can see over the edge. Okay. Uh, it is now Donner's turn. Okay. Um, I would follow. Uh, Drim over to like this area and I would peek my head over just to see if they'd made it under the boat yet okay uh, you do see that half of the whale is under the bow of the boat okay um, I would send another lightning bolt um, okay go ahead do I uh, uh, it's a deck save of 15 I would say because water is conductive just go ahead and roll the damage for it roll normal okay, okay. I didn't know. It's okay. I'm just checking. Uh, okay, quick question before I do this, because uh, I might want to do something else first. Um, <clears throat> when we hit the whale, did it look like it affected the other big fiery ball man? The the person? I yeah. mean, it looked like it did to an extent, yeah. Okay. All right, then I won't do it. Um, okay, so I'm just going to gonna do one of those. Um, I'm going to use another font point. Another uh, meta magic, rather, and mm -hmm. re-roll this. That was way better. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 8, 33, 34, uh, plus 3, so 37 lightning damage. Okay, 37, got it. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, that's all I got right now. Okay, I need all three of you to make dexterity checks. I knew that was going to happen. You said a check? Uh, sorry, a save. Dex save. Ooh. 18. Okay. Uh, be... <laughs> Gross. Big, big hey, net one. 22. Oh. 22? Oh. It okay. was a one. You, then, a one. you got a one? Oh, uh, yeah. I showed oh, no. wrong. All the had a one. <laughs> What'd you uh, get, I got a seven. Okay. So, Dremel and Donner, you both... Uh, there's this massive uh, bump that happens in the bottom of the ship as something kind of... You actually see the ship lift up before coming down. And uh, both Donner and Dremel are knocked prone as Alter, you are hanging on the side of the rail with and you a, can keep your footing. With an 18? Yeah. Damn. Uh, let me see here. That's the We're in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Okay. So you do hear at the side of the ship, you do see that there is this hook that just kind of right about here latches onto the side and you see it gets it becomes taut 
as you see one gauntleted hand and another before this this ashen skull that's completely just there's no flame to it because it got singed out looks at you kind of sways and then it <clears throat> billows up as i will put hotep here and, guys and he's gonna crick his neck to the side and Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm going to have you all make another deck save, even though Donner and Dremel are on the floor. Hi. So that would be a disadvantage? Correct. Uh, it's okay. This time I didn't do good. Oh, I rolled, I rolled good both times. I'm not sure for him, but like for me, I did. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. Uh, 18. 18. I got me a 7. Hey, we switched. Let's swap. I rolled okay. a nine. Okay, so I know you're really excited, but 18 doesn't make the save. It's fine. I okay. was just happy that I rolled higher than last time. As you see uh, the whip kind of come down and strike against the uh, <clears throat> the ship as this massive wall of this kind of rose quartz amethyst flame pushes forward. So he's going to use he's using wall of fire and he rolled really well. Uh, can I can I use my reaction? When uh, I'm yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to be. What are you going to try to do? Counterspell. Counterspell. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Let me try to I have no idea what level that spell is, so uh, you attempt to interrupt a creature in the process of casting a spell. If the creature is casting a spell of third level or lower, no effect. Fourth or higher, an ability check using spell uh, DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Okay, go ahead and roll a d20. Come on, Dream. E natural 20. Okay. So you see this massive wall of fire as you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. As it just, as soon as it gets to where your foot is and you can feel it start to singe, it goes and it just passes through. And you see this skeletal face just kind of crick its head and almost kind of chuckle. Let me see here. Just give me one extra sec. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's right. I am very funny. <laughs> and hilarious here. He's a riot, truly. Yeah, truly I think outrageous. He's pretty good, I guess. His whole brother uh, gig. That whole thing. Okay. Damn it, I already used that. One extra sec. Yeah, all right. So he is going to kind of just concentrate and he is going to <clears throat> do this real quick gotta love fighter levels oh uh, no this is bad okay, that's not too bad so he gets that back and he is going to move 5 10 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, that should be good. As you see him uh, <clears throat> look at you again, Drum, and you see that he uh, has this chain whip and you see it immediately ignite as he's going to attempt to slash you with said whip. Now, I'm trying to remember what the rules on attacking a prone creature is. I believe if it's, if it's a ranged attack. Is this advantage? Uh, ranged attacks are disadvantage. Melee attacks are advantage. Okay. Let me see if it's... I don't know if it's... Uh, it's a melee weapon. I'll use my shield consistent. like a turtle. <laughs> Therefore, okay. I am infinitely safe. That's going to be a yikes. Turtles can never die. It's true. Don't tell him. 
I literally uh, just saw a video of a turtle escaping. An attack roll against the creature has advantage if the attacker is within um, five feet. Which, I mean, it's hard to fucking tell with the web. All right. Well, you're within ten feet, right? Yep. So, we'll see how he does. How about that? There goes uh, my guys. Badass. Not rolling well tonight. Good. That's okay. And by rolling well, I mean I'm just rolling shit off of my ass. Shit ass. Fuck. Ow. Shit ass. Fuck. Fuck. Shit ass. Fuck. Okay. Dremel does a 15 hit. Uh, no, it does not. Okay, so you see this massive just chain come down, and you're just like, fuck! And you move to the side, and it leaves scorch marks on the the deck of the ship as it he reels it back. Uh, well, it Creed's is, gonna be mad at you. It, it is your turn. Uh, okay, so I will... I still have to stand up, right? So I'll use half my movement to stand mm -hmm. up. Correct. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Mirror Image on myself. Okay. So now there is, I believe it's three ver three extra versions of me. Yep, three duplicates. Uh, and that kind of takes my turn, so all I'm going to do is take one step this. Well, one of me will be this way. Where's a... There's, there's four of me, but I'm going to stand just outside of his range. Okay. Kind of protecting uh, Alder and Donner. So All right. the other the other three are along this line here. Okay. Perfect. Let me see here. So then it is a Wahale attack turn. So... Do 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 do. Do do. It's. I don't know how to like tease it without making it like making it scary, but not like I want to. I think that'll work. I saw like the outline of a fin. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I, I wow. did too. Majestic. As it is going to kind of whip around. Um, what's it going to do? Yeah, all right. No, it's out of range. Okay. It's going to bide its time. So, Alder, you're back up. Oh, I love biding time. Um, so I was knocked prone as well, correct? Uh, no, you were not. You made the save. You got her 22. Oh, sorry. I thought that was the second save. No, we didn't get uh, a chance to worry about the second save. Drummer that's right. Counterspell. Right. Counterspell clutch. Um, so, yeah, then I'm just going to uh, uh, stay where I'm at um, since call lightning is still in effect. So I'm going to uh, call lightning down on uh, uh, Scully McPinkeye. And okay. so he's got to make a dexterity save. Dex save. Got it. Okay, uh, he got a 15. That is a failure. Okay. So let's hope for better this time. Uh, 20 points of lightning damage. Okay. Um, and uh, just kind of curious, obviously, um, we heard him say garage and stuff like that. Um he looks. Fam does he look at all? Obviously, we don't know his skull, uh, but does he? Do does his garb look at all familiar to us? Um, go ahead and roll an intelligence check for me. Oh, yeah, what's, okay. What's Never his mind. Vibe? <laughs> uh, twelve. Um, you don't recognize the armor, but you recognize the word garrosh, which is what you know. Manu called him, so you can either assume that uh, this is like an undead deaf person maybe sent by Anubis. I don't know. That's more Alder's brain process. Yeah, which isn't much right now. He's scared shitless. Moving on. 
Okay. But that uh, that ends his turn. Yeah. All right. Donner, it's your turn. Uh, Donner's going to use half his movement to get up. And kind of seeing, uh, would you say he'd be able to put two and two together and realize that Thok got fucked up by this thing? And this is the thing he was running from? Yeah, I think he could safely assume that. Okay, so for now, he's going to uh, move one, two, there. Um, okay. Farther back. Um, and what he's going to do is he's going to... Uh, close his eyes again and throw down another lightning bolt okay uh he needs to make a dexterity save fucking dex saves guys okay uh he does not make it okay so give me one second D D beyond app is doing mediocre work for me at the moment and uh, another lightning bolt so cool do that uh and then he's also going to do a bonus action um i'm going to use another font magic point uh he's going to bonus action uh second wind okay okay that's it's fine uh 10 18 19 22 26 31 mm-hmm. plus three is 34 34 Okay. 34 more points of lightning damage. And he's got Jan Bjorn back off his, off his back. Okay. And, uh, yeah, second wind, and that'll be his turn. Okay. Uh, let me see here. It is his turn. Let me see here what he is going to do. Okay. All right. Let me see if... Ooh, do I want to risk it for the biscuit? Um, nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. Nah, I don't. Not yet. One, two, three. Okay. So he is... I would say within 10 feet of all of you. That will also trigger polearm mastery. So I get mm-hmm. one stabby stab at him. Go ahead. Uh, D&D Beyond is also giving me issues, so I'm pretty sure that's an 18. Uh, 18 will not hit. All right. Fuck you, then. As you move forward and it just goes, it careens and scrapes against this armor as you see these like eyeless uh, eye holes just kind of look down and then look back at you. Uh, let me see. Keep here. using deck save, boys. Oh, actually, it was a 19. Does that help? No. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. I am in danger. You are in danger. Deck uh, save. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Hotep is going to whip at... Donner first, and then Alder. Don't like that. Yeah, you shouldn't. Um, let me see here. So for Donner, I have a modded 20. Hit. And Alder, I have a 23. Yeah, that hits. Okay, give me one second. Yeah, take time. <laughs> there we go. So as you see the whip kind of unleash, you actually see these blades just kind of go chink on the sides of it as it's still engulfed in flame. So we'll do Donner's first. Okay. So that. Uh, Donner, you take 17 points of uh, damage. You take five of slashing, and then you take the other of fire. Okay. And then we will go again for the second, which we already got on Alder. All right. Okay, this one's a little bit better for me. Um, So then, Alder, you take 18 points of damage 
uh, you're going to take eight of that of slashing, and the rest is going to be fire. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, and then let me see here. Um, okay, yeah, that works. And then it is going to point and curiously look at you, Donner. And it's going to use its bonus action to cast. Sorry. Hex. Perfect. So go ahead and... Hold on. It's actually a concentration. Wow. So you're just hexed. There's no save for that. Nope. That's nice. It's been a while since I've been using that. So you are currently hexed. Not the way. Tight. Love it. Uh, Tremel, it's your turn. All right. Um, so I have a question about ensnaring strike. Mm-hmm. It says the next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, um, then it happens. Is it something that only happens once and then the magic goes away or it lasts? Cause it, it's a, a one minute duration. Hold on. Ensnaring strike? Ensnaring strike. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. A creature. Uh, there increases one d6. So it is. I mean, it's concentration up for a minute. Uh, so I'd assume the vines are out until the minute's up, or you get your concentration broken. Right, but let, let's say I I attack him once, mm-hmm. and he survey, he does he uh, succeeds. Mm-hmm. If I attack him again, does it does he have to roll again, or is it only no. once? It would be the once. Just the once. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, fuck it. Uh, I'll use bonus action to cast Ensnaring Strike. So okay. My next hit will do that thing. Uh, I'm going to spin around with all my clones to the opposite side. Mm-hmm. To try to attack him from the from the rear. And attack with the polearm. Okay. Give him a little pokey poke. Oh, never mind. That's a natural one. Okay, so you actually move forward with your polearm, and you hear a crack in the uh, in the wood. Is it completely busted? No, but it's it's fucked up. Okay, well I'll um I get two attacks, so I'll take the second attack and grab it at the point above where it uh, mm-hmm. cracked. Okay, and do it again. God damn, uh, fifteen. 15 so you kind of move it forward in the shock you kind of hear it crunch again but it just <laughs> scrapes across the armor Shit. well i did use my bonus action let, let me see if this i'm not sure if it has to hit or not yep next time you hit a creature okay well then i'm chilling okay and it is ain't no party like a whale party because the whale party's terrifying mm. <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? Demon so whale. you see this massive undead whale mouth completely open as it's going to take a bite out of the boat. Creed, what are you doing? Oh, Creed hit, hit yeah, the told her that the light went away. Yeah, that doesn't mean that we're safe. Okay. Uh, so you see a massive chunk come out, and then Dremel, I need you to... How does your... Uh, what you call it work? Your doppel Dremels go? Let me look again. Uh, I think if it, first you have to see if it hits me, and then if it does, I roll a die to see if it hits one of my duplicates. Does twenty three hit your armor class? It sure does. You should do that <laughs> die, buddy. All right. Hopefully um, you don't get ingested like Pinocchio. Just made it. Uh, rolled a seven, so one of my okay. doppelgangers gets hit. Okay. So, but it does take a good portion out of the top of the deck of the ship before. Bye, boat running down uh creed's gonna be so mad as alder it's your turn again uh okay um i kept my concentration up on call lightning um so 
Uh, I am going to uh, continue to use uh, my action for that because I really don't have much else that I can do at the moment. Um, so yeah, I will uh, another another deck save for uh, our friend here. Okay. Doesn't make it. Go ahead. Doesn't make it. Uh, uh, another 20 points of lightning damage. Okay. We'll add that here. It's consistent, at least. That's good. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, I will just be staying put at the time. All right. Donner, it's your turn. Okay, uh, I'm going to move forward um, here. Uh, so uh, I would have advantage on a, a strike, right? Because I'm, I'm yep. blanking with Dremel. Yep, perfect. Uh, I'm going to take out Jan Bjorn, and I'm going to take two swings at this giant thing. Uh, now, do I get my additional D6 because it's a fiend or undead? Yes. Is it also a giant? It's not a giant. Then I don't... Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, wish me luck, boys. Good uh, luck. That one's an 18, which we know doesn't hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, since it's at advantage, that's cocked. Uh, that is worse. So first swings don't hit. Okay. And you uh, see it just kind of like moving out of the way of the blade as opposed to it scraping against the, the armor. Uh, does a 28 hit? 28 will hit. Okay. Good to know. So. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. I maxed out. Thank you, Black God. Black Jesus. Black Jesus. Uh, 23 <laughs> points of damage. Okay. 18, 5. Yeah, 23. 23? Yeah. Cool. Okay. I will add that. And I'll kind of like poke my head around like while I'm swinging and he's moving. And I'll go, Drem, don't move. Uh, okay. What? Move? <laughs> <laughs> what? Leave this place right now? See ya. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. That's all I got. And you see him? Let's see here. How's he look? He's looking. It's hard to tell because he doesn't have blood. <laughs> How to like? You've is, done a is, lot of damage is to the, it. Is the skeleton like fractured anywhere? Or? You you would see different kind of like chinks within the the armor. Okay. Um, you do see that there are slight cracks through the the skull itself. Okay. Um, That's all I wanted to know. Okay. I just need to check one. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and what is it? I'll do you next to that. Okay. So you see the kind of uh, skull man kind of slick his head back and forth, almost like a cobra. And uh, let me see here. So... Donner, you're going to take five points of psychic damage. Cool. And Alder, you are also going to be taking uh, five points of psychic damage. Heard. Okay. And then what else is it going to do on its turn? Because that's not actually an action. Features are great. Uh, Let me see here. Okay. Oh, and uh, six points of that was radiant damage. I don't know if that makes a difference. I gotcha. Okay. It's going to use... That's really cool. Okay. It's going to look at all three of you. It's going to burn those. And... I think I got it. It is going to... Cast... There you go. 
and you see it and it touches uh, his head as he casts banishment on himself. Counterspell. Okay, go ahead and roll for it. <laughs> Get it. All right, let's see. Um, d- d- would I be able to tell just from seeing Thok cash ban- cast banishment a few times? Would I know what it is? Um, no, but I'll give it to you. Okay. That just determines what level I do it at. Mm-hmm. So one sec. Wait, when you cast the spell using a spell slot fourth or higher, or the interrupted spell has no effect if the level is less or equal. Oh, okay. So, yeah, then I'll, I'll cast it at fourth level. Okay. Um, and... So I need you to roll. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. I'm still learning how this works. One sec. Uh, the DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Yep. I got 21. Okay. And you see, and he starts the shift, and you see that it does not work on him. Not so fast. And you kind of hear a... As it is going to clench its fist, and it's going to attempt to punch you, Dremel, one of your Dremels. Let's see. Okay. Does a 17 hit? It does not. 17 does not hit. So you, it telegraphs and it moves forward as it is now your turn. It's my turn now? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Well, I still got advantage. Uh, So I'm not going to use the pole arm just to be safe. So I'm going to pull out my dagger and uh, he's facing me now, right? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll go for like, a neck, neck area for the first one. Okay. So, uh, that's a 19. 19 one hit. And then uh, I'll use my second attack, kind of go low, and pull okay. back around and go for a stomach. Natural 20. Okay, go ahead. So do we double the dice or roll two of them? No, you double the dice. Okay. So, oh, hell yeah. So that's four... Plus another four, plus another four. Do I do I double the the plus? Uh, no, just you the don't no, just the dice. Okay, so 12, 12. 12 damage total, and he is ensnared in thorns. Okay. Uh, which means I believe it's every every start of his turn he has to roll. Is it a con save? Yeah, it's a con save, and he'll do. I, I cast it at second level, so two two d six of damage at the start of his turn. Okay, got it. Very nice. It's gone tonight. It's gonna be a whale attack. <laughs> okay. So, Dremel, I need you to make a... Oh, you know what? It's actually a regular attack, my bad. Got a long-ass nose. Yeah. So, some kind of whale. Some so, kind of whale. It did crit... On yours, so I need you to roll for your doppel drummels. Okay. Oh my god, please. Oh boy. Let me see what I have to roll. Tonight is going to be your whale carcass. Where is it? It's in the water. Are you paying attention? Finding stuff's hard. Whale carcass is there, dude. Oh shit. No, sorry guys. I'm just trying to find where mirror image is. There we go. Okay. Come on. Hell yeah. Natural 20. Okay. So, so it, it, it attacks one of the other duplicates. Okay. So I've just got one duplicate left. All right. So you see it crunch, and it actually crunches on Hotep. Damn it. Sneaky fuck. <laughs> it's almost like they have a mind link or something as it goes back. Under. Uh, Alder, it's your turn. Oh, son of a, son of a bitch. Turn into um, a and, and, and you see these massive just marks in the in the ship. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and still shoot a uh, call lightning at them under the water. Um, okay. 
if I can still find see their location. Um, I will say that the the flame is starting to flicker out. Okay. Almost like it's trying to stealth. Okay, so I'm gonna go quick and uh, Jesus fucking consistency. Uh, <laughs> twenty points of lightning damage if they fail their save. Yeah, that's okay. He fills. Okay. And and then um, I'll be like, we gotta get the fuck out of here. I think. Turn into a whale. I can't turn into a whale. Uh, I'm gonna run over as well and try and drop another uh, lightning bolt on it. Okay. By the time you get there, it is a little bit harder to see, so I will need you to do it at disadvantage. Uh, it's a deck save, so oh, I don't know how save. you want to do that. So, partial cover on a deck save. I'm just going to do a probability to see if the pack is looking to see if the structure's out. How far away are they? I mean, it's a very big animal. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and roll. Tight. And then I'll see if they make the save. Jeez, I don't know. I'm going to... Reroll those three. Drop some more magic. What's the what's the save for it? Uh, fifteen. Okay, they got a seventeen. Eight, twelve, eighteen. Much better. Uh, twenty-one, twenty-six, thirty-two, plus three. Uh, thirty-five points of lightning damage. So, oh, you're counting, sorry. Mm hmm And they are underwater, so it would be electric. So how much is it? 35. 35. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, then, and that's full power, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, so I'll have that. That's fine. Uh, <clears throat> it is the that turn, but let's see here. Nothing's going to pop up. Uh, Dremel, it is your, your turn as well. All right, how, how far away are they? You can't really gauge at this point with how low they are. Oh, they what? Did they go? They went down. Okay. <clears throat> um, well, I guess I'll just I'll do magic missile at fourth level. Okay. So that'll be four of these. So that's one plus two. Plus one, so three, plus two, six. No, five. No, I got okay. one, two, one, two, right? That's what I said yeah. out loud? That I sounds right. So. so let's say six points, yeah. so seven points of damage. Okay, seven points. Or, no, seven, uh, six plus one for each die, so ten points. Four. Okay. Ten. That's fine. So while that happens, uh, Amari comes up to the bow of the ship. And she screams something in French, sees the bow of the ship, and then realizes she spoke French and says in English, grab onto something, we're about to go fast. Shit. So I I'll will get give you, you whale. all in <laughs> Cap Captain Ahem. I'll give you all a strength check to see if you can hold on <laughs> as sweet sassy molassy, you guys are gonna be tearing ass. 15. Uh, 21. Uh, natural 20. <laughs> okay. Strong alder. So all of you are able to kind of maintain as the boat slowly starts to pick up speed before it is literally going and careening like, I don't want to say it's breaking the sound barrier, but it's very close to doing so as it's just going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Is Val still doing like surgery on me in the middle of this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Best surgeon on the boat. <laughs> it's going well. So Steady. number one surgeon on the boat. So I will say we are out of initiative. As <clears throat> eventually things start to calm down, the boat slowly starts to slow down, and you see some of the paint is starting to like peel off from how the speed of the boat was going. And all of you have been buffed with waves and sands, little nicks and rashes and sores as 
eventually you guys are at a complete standstill as a few moments pass and you see Captain Creed completely covered like she has this different kind of like soot up to her arms and she goes what the fuck happened to my ship what the fuck is that and she sees the giant fucking teeth marks that are in there it was a big whale it was a big undead whale might have been a zombie whale I'm sorry what uh, Dremel has has one of the daggers, one of his daggers in his hand, and he's like repetitively stabbing one of the the handrails. Like this fucking yeah. whale came out, and I had that <laughs> motherfucker, and then he came and he bit that flaming skull man, and I'm just I'm just rambling until somebody You're, pick like interrupts me. She's gonna shit, eventually come up to you, and you and she puts her forearm or her hand on your forearm. What happened? And she looks over at you, Donner. Uh, there was a an undead whale, um, and there was a giant undead fire guy. Okay. And he was looking for you, because you're a god, right? I don't think so. Okay. And she looks at you, Dremel. Any idea of who this might be? Uh... Would I make any sort of connection as to who that was? Um, I mean, the only thing you heard him say was Garrosh. You don't... Once again, you didn't see whose face it was. It's a big old skull face. Um, okay. Well, he said Garrosh, and there's only been one person I've known to ever say Garrosh. Okay. Slow down. What's Garrosh? We'll have to wait for... Uh... Little Miss Sunshine to wake up. And I start and she, I start stabbing the, the thing again. She squeezes your forearm and she goes, Why are we waiting for him to wake up? He'll know. He might know something. And he's also asleep because his stonem got ripped out of his chest. Oh, yeah. That's an important piece. Yeah, Valdana's fixing that. Well, if he didn't fuck up my boat, I might actually think this thing. Okay, um, so I need to tend to Little Miss Sunshine. Just give us a bit. Try to. I don't even want to look at my ship. And you see her, and she just goes, "I'm." Mm, 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 mm. And she looks at three of you, and she goes, "There's been nothing but problems since you've all boarded this ship. Just throwing it out there." Uh, Dremel casts Silent Image over mm -hmm. the wreckage of the boat so that it looks fixed. Mm -hmm. And But I'm still stabbing. I'm still stab stabbing. Still, <laughs> still pissy? <laughs> still pissy. There, it's better. I fixed it. <laughs> and she looks at you and she goes, I know you're not talking to me like that. No, I'm talking to that whale. You're mm. not a whale. You're a pretty woman. I would only talk to a whale like this. Fuck, I'm going to kill that whale. And I turn around because I don't know what to say. This okay, fucking great. Fucking whale piece of shit. Fuck. So it's the, it's the three of you on the deck of the ship in the wake of that. Demon whale. Demon whale. Demon whale. <laughs> Donna leans over to Alder and he just goes, I don't think Drim likes animals like at all i think it might be more so the fact that it tried to kill him multiple times and didn't go after either of us i mean Maybe that's why he's got more there. i mean he was pretty offensive to him i think guys i can like things for dip i can dislike things for different reasons fucking whale just just trying to put a and b together i'm i'm i think i'm gonna go check on val and thok because he tried to kill us. Fucking idiots. Uh, Donna's going to walk to the other end of the boat that's not ripped in half. Okay. He's going to put Yambjorn in the deck of the ship. He's going to kind of smack it down. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to get on his knees and just pray. Okay. So you see him kneeling. You hear the clicking and the, the rhythmic tapping of Dremel stabbing the banister. 
Um, <clears throat> Alder, you get down to the belly of the ship, and you see things are disoriented, but uh, Val is still wrist deep inside of Fox chest, but it looks like he is stabilized as eventually she kind of takes her hands out and this crimson just kind of runs down her uh, hands and arms. And eventually you see her kind of take both of the flaying open and you see her uh, use a combo of mend and uh, healing as this giant uh, scar across Thox chest just forms. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. From one of the grossest things I've ever seen. Same. Um, don't tell him this, but I feel like I need to tell someone. I was just winging that. I mean, I had a feeling you probably haven't replaced anybody's sternum before. No. No, of course fucking not. And she goes, ah, I touched my face with the blood in the face. In the, uh, Go. In the, uh. I'll, I'll, I'll hang out with him to make sure he's okay just in case he wakes up. Go. Go get yourself cleaned up. Oh, my God. <laughs> and she's just like, don't touch me. I'm not clean. <laughs> As she leaves. Um, let me see here. I am going to roll. So, Thok, you will be up in about an hour. <laughs> not quickly, though. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm going to assume that eventually you guys are going to reconvene into your room. I would move. Uh, I would move Thok very slowly and gingerly uh, and then mm. get him in the bed. Okay. We got like a wheelie wheelchair or Heelies. anything? There's a wheelbarrow. Maybe a hand cart, something. There's definitely yeah. a wheelbarrow. Heelies. <laughs> no. He's not a rad middle schooler. Yeah, <laughs> what's up, nerds? I got a grind Dremel clean mine. Dremel will I definitely got... have Heelies. I just uh, got soap shoes. Anyway... Are you guys going to do anything for the hour? Or are you guys just waiting for Thok to wake up? Um, I'm going to go see Val. Okay. I'm uh, I'm still on the top of the boat deck, looking out to where the whale was, and just trying stabbing. to... Stabbing. Like, well, it's gone from <laughs> stabbing to carving. So okay. I'm carving a little bit. Um, just trying to remember less what the whale looked like, because I know the whale is, is dead, and it was actually mm -hmm. the flame skull guy. But I'm trying to burn his image into my mind mm -hmm. um and as i'm doing that I'm, I'm carving a piece of the the uh handrail mm -hmm. into like like a, a like a dagger shaped tooth kind of just splinter just so okay I, it's, it's my memento okay since i consider that i won <laughs> yikes okay so you're just carving away um and then alder what are you doing um, just so that way Thok doesn't freak out whenever he does wake up, uh, since everyone's kind of gone their own way, I'll make sure to stay with him, uh, cause I'm sure he's going to freak out when he does come to, so. Okay. So we will go to Donner. Uh, Donner, you find Val in her room and she is currently changing into different clothes cause the other ones are completely bloody and, uh, you hear her and she goes, come in. Walk in. And she's behind kind of like a uh, privacy, like a partition. Partition, yes. Thank you. Um, hi. Hey. You doing all right? I'm processing a lot right now. I saw. I've watched you process a lot. I uh, I reattached a man's sternum today. Oh no! I I saw. It was. I mean, I didn't see, I've heard, and then I moved the man to bed, so I've, I've seen your handiwork. It's um, it's a sight to behold, for sure. And she kind of just looks at you and she goes, can I be frank? Uh, sure. This isn't a test, is it? What's You're not, not fucking with me, right? I'm not. How so? It's bringing you to the temple, attaching, healing your friends almost getting swallowed by whatever the fuck was out there. I mean, I can say without a shred of doubt, I have no part in any of this. Um, I'm just kind of along for the ride. What's your brother like? 
Oh, my brother. Um, which one? I know, I know, Talos. I know. Um, he's great, honestly. I don't have a bad word to say about him. Um, he's sweet. He's grounded. He's motivated. Uh, he's probably the only person I've ever met that told my father no. I'm sorry, our father no. Um, pe- a lot of people don't know that uh, he was supposed to be the God Slayer initially. Uh, and he told him no, he didn't want to do it. He wanted to sow his oats and go experience life. So he left. And then in the mantle fell to me. And jokes on him, he had to do it anyway. But it's another story for another time. And you see her and she kind of nods, yeah. I'm, um, I'm going to try to see if I can contact him within the next few hours. I can't really fall asleep now. Look, Val, you don't have to push yourself for me. I, I, don't, I don't want our relationship to change at all. I'm still the same guy I was when I got on this boat. I just, I'm a little older than you think I am. I'm sorry, I'm a little older than you thought I was. Yeah. She goes, just give me some space. Yeah, of course. Just know that I'm here know that I appreciate you Mm. and all that you've done. Um, You've helped me a lot. I've got some answers that aren't great, but I have them, so. And she kind of nods and she goes, well, I have some questions for your brother myself, so. Well, give him hell for me. I will. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm sorry. I know I didn't have any kind of awareness, but I didn't... I, I would have never wanted to put you in this position. She goes, I appreciate that. And you see her and she comes out from the partition and she's back in just kind of this common clothes. And she kind of sighs. And... Uh, Starts going over to her bed, and you see her kind of sit down and crisscross as she goes. I know. Oh, just hold if you need me. I'm around. I'm sure I will. Smiles and nods politely as he walks out. So, eventually, the I would say the three of you would probably eventually wander down back to the room and kind of hang out uh, eventually unless you guys want to do anything else I would say that Thok you eventually wake up the last images you saw were of <clears throat> the ship kind of the, the night sky your friends kind of screaming and those the last image that you saw of Hotep and his undead smile unnerving you as you're kind of jolted awake and you see the top of the uh, aquatic room on the ceiling as your friends are there. Oh, God. The hell? Well, well it breathes. You're finally awake. Uh, now Dremel's going to kill you. I feel like this boat ran through me. I mean, it basically did. So, uh, I mean, don't want to pry too much Garrosh? if you're awake. But yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I DM remind me. I told them about Hotep. Hotep. You did not know the identity of Hotep. Okay. Um, yeah, the... Did you see the skull thing? The flame fire thing? Oh, we saw we saw a lot of it. 
Yeah. yeah. Tried to kill us. Real up close. Possessed, possessed a whale. Oh, good. Cool. That uh, apparently is Hotep. Um, he. I, something was calling to me in the middle of the night, and I went to just check it out. Didn't really think much of it, and found him on a wreckage of everyone seemed to be sucked dry. I don't know. Um, he stuck his hand in my chest, ripped out my sternum. Yeah. Surprised you remember that much. <clears throat> well, if it wasn't for me being mostly orc, I probably wouldn't. Because I would have probably gone unconscious before that. But we tend to be a relentless race. So. Did you know yeah. who he was? Not before. He said that he was thanking me for giving him the. Was it the final piece? Or like. It was, it was stripping him of his. The last humanity. Left. Yeah, he was thanking me for stripping the last bit of humanity left in him, which that was Manu's body, but man, uh, so if Hotep is Manu, and Manu is Hotep, who have you been talking to? The humanity portion of him, I assume. Yeah, but how can we know that for sure? How can we trust this voice inside your head? He was just as shocked to see his own body moving as I was. He, he was the one that saved me, actually, because it was his idea to push him overboard. And he pretty much told me how to at least s slow him down. So to get the hell out of there. Let me get this straight. There's a voice inside your head that miraculously saved you, but that brought the danger all the way over here to where everyone else was and still could have came after you? It sounds to me like Manu might be playing you. Well, in his defense, I was the one that brought the danger, not him. Well, and actually, Donner technically was because he brought me back on the ship. But look, if if Manu just wanted you dead, could have just let you die there. But he didn't. I think he wants all of us dead. And I think you let him right here by trusting him. I look over. Is Manu around? I would say he's by where the... Um... Vanity is, and he's his arms are crossed, and just as you were kind of banged up, his figure seems to be banged up. And you see, like, his cloak is torn, and you just see he's just staring off, kind of sh in shock. I don't... I really don't think that would be the case, Dremel, because without don't, me... Don't you know. Yeah, that's, but that's the problem. Was we're not we're not saying that it's a hundred percent this this option, but you've got to believe that it's connected somehow. If it's a piece of Manu, whether it's a, a humanity or a, a soulless being or, or a giant flame skull, he's got to have the ability to track you based on Manu. So the more you talk to him, the more he's around. You got to think the more. He knows where you are. I mean, it's definitely we, possible. Neither one of us can really control it. Like, I can't help him being around, and he doesn't really go anywhere, like, when he's not with me. Like, he kind of goes nowhere. Maybe that's that where he sense. should stay for a little bit. Do we know what's going on? I understand this is a very, very difficult situation for you. Please, sympathize with the rest of us. We don't know this Manu in your head. 
And for all we know, he could be a spy. He could be the reason that we... Almost he could be a died. Spy. He could be a spy. And with that, uh, Dremel kind of snaps the toothpick that he pulled mm -hmm. out of his mouth and then just throws it. Okay. I don't want to say anything. Hunter looks at you and he goes, Well, wow. if that's all of that, um, and he gets up and he looks at you and he goes, Thok, I. I didn't... I didn't know. I just look at his, his direction and kind of just shake my head. Like, hopefully him understanding. I don't want to say it out loud, but my way of saying, like, it's not your fault. But not trying to show that to the rest of the group. And he kind of looks and he goes, I'll, um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that, that stasis, that place. Um, find me a way to get out of here. Exercise me if you have to. I, I don't want to, I don't want anyone else to die because of me. As you see that he, his figure slowly starts to dissipate before vanishing. I just look up at the ceiling and try to hold back a tear, but it still comes out anyways. Because all I'm thinking of is, especially him saying that he doesn't want anyone to die because of him. And all I can think of is the fact that he died because of me. Okay. And if no one else is saying anything, then I'm just going to turn over and try to fall asleep. But Anyone else doing anything or we'll close the session? When, um, when he rolls over, what, what I've noticed that tear. Uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. Perception 19. I would say you, you noticed it. Uh, I, so seeing the tear and when he rolls over, uh, I walk up to him, uh, mm -hmm. to his backside. Just put my hand on his shoulder and I say, you're still one of us. We just need to know what's going on. And, uh, I squeeze a little bit tighter, and then I, I start to walk toward the door, and I look to the rest of the guys, and I say, uh, hey, let's give them some space. And before all of you walk out, like, if you're heading out, I, without turning over, I will just say really loudly enough for you to hear me, just say thank you. Of course. You're one of us. I'd do it again if I had to. But only if I had to. I, don't, I wouldn't volunteer. Yeah, I didn't like seeing all the dead fish and dead whales and stuff. I didn't like seeing all that stuff in front of my face when I had to also have Thok bleeding out on a boat. Yeah, I was inside your stomach at one point, and I don't advise that. And I wouldn't vacation there. <laughs> okay. Anything else you guys are doing for the rest of the night? Uh, Donna's going to go get a nice stiff drink. Okay. Camel too. Yeah, it sounds like a good plan. Okay. So the three of you kind of sit at the bar, each drinking uh, hard liquor. Liquor. We can, as there's damage all over the fucking top deck of the of the ship as Donner, you kind of reach under the bar and you pull up a, a bottle and no one's serving you because no one's on the top of the ship. So you guys are all just kind of drinking from the bottle as the suns are slowly starting to rise up. 
I did not imagine uh, fighting a giant flame skull monster the first time I got my powers back. I mean, I would say a demon... Dead demon whale was probably also not something you probably would have thought of. No. Weird, guys, because I thought we were going to fight both of those this morning. And I took a giant <laughs> swig. Mm-hmm. All right. And I think we'll end it there. I picture the, the that scene like the mm-hmm. end of Avengers 1. <laughs> when they're all just eating shawarma inside of the yeah. store in New York City. <laughs> That's basically what it is. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Uh, well, thank you guys for watching another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. We will be back next week with an all new episode to see what the fuck happens, where we are, because I don't know. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. Josh. Oh, Josh. Yes, Papa. Would you like to read some names? <laughs> oh, yes, that sounds good. <laughs> so a big old thank you to Commander Root, Gandalf the Babe, Get Affiliated underscore now, Lurks, Storacina, Thicker, uh, Devil in 07, and a, uh, a, sh- uh, a post, a post thank you to Atticus Gadfly 14 and Rower Meow, who both follow it, followed us yesterday. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And we will see you guys all back here next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.